Yes, yes, I have. I understand whoever I'm talking to. Oh, it's the owl statue. Okay. So we're back. It is day one again. There's an owl statue. He's blown away by my physique. It's just me again. Lincoln was here for a week. He's dead now. And you're like, you don't mean dead. No, I mean dead. Absolutely dead. So our goal in this three-day cycle, now that we did a lot of the side stuff, is basically going to be to get a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Mainly, entrance into the dungeon, and then the head of whoever's in the dungeon. Those things would be super cool, don't you think? Sounds a little grotesque, you know. I want the dungeon boss's head. Well, sometimes it is. Please don't mind the sky outside of Termina. That's nothing. Nothing. Sometimes you gotta do a somersault into a chest just to get on rupees. So as you probably noticed by now, all these things reset. So in one sense, you lose everything. All of your consumable items, your bombs, your arrows, and whatnot. On the other hand, you have the ability to get a bunch of stuff really easily. If I wanted to bother to get the uh, moon's tier again, I could get that plant, uh, the bomb flower, or no, the, uh, the Deku flower open. And I could shoot up there. Up there. See that chest kind of underneath the flags? That's another silver rupee if I'm remembering correctly, but I don't need it right now. I'm also trying to stay away from that because, you know, <laughs> I'm tired of that guy. So yeah. This guy's gonna bother us again. Because deja vu. But we'll go on our way. I don't think he even stops us if we're in either the Goron or the uh, Zora form. Because we look like grown-ups then. Which is ageist, but it's fine. We also have four hearts, which you don't necessarily have to have before you do this dungeon, but it can't hurt. In theory, I think there's just enough other places we can access where we might be able to get a fifth right now. But we're not going to worry about it. I see the graphics are freaking out again. Don't worry about it. This is the best run of Majora's Mask you've ever seen. No graphical glitches. No mistakes in gameplay. No 12-hour montages where nothing's happening. None of that. Now you notice that some things have reset, of course. The giant Octorok guy is alive. Oh. Okay. We're gonna head over this way. Ah, uh, just for the force. So we don't have a choice, we have to take the ride. Okay. I thought so, but I wanted to make sure. Because we can't... Well, we might go to go this way. Let's try it. Oh, I need to go to that platform now. Oh, no. All right, from the platform, then. This will be disappointed if we come all this way and can't get through, but you know what? Life's about disappointment. Look at me. <laughs> Good spin. It's alright, we still have just enough to make it. Okay. There's a frog over there. We've seen it before. Now we run into a problem, though. Look at this sign. Beware of Octoroks. Yeah, we don't have a way to kill them unless it involves... Let's see. So if you kill somebody with a car, it's vehicular manslaughter. What is it with a boat? I don't know. I'm not, not much of a boat guy. I don't know how that works. Great. Amazing. <laughs> Boat Hicular Manslaughter. I, I don't know. Not my best work, I admit. Great! <laughs> By far the worst waste of time when that happens. It doesn't quite touch, but if you hold the button forward the whole time, you also don't touch the back end of it either. Deku Link, your life sucks and you're useless. Okay. So we gotta take the cruise again. Everything in this world is cyclical after all.
I don't remember if that means we have to have to rescue her again or not. Usually I just do the whole dungeon in one cycle and I don't do the side stuff. I did it a little bit differently this time and now I'm paying for it with my sadness and my despair. It's fine. So we look over this way and there's going to be nobody here. We look over. No, we're not going to play the instrument. Look at that guy who has his hand over his face like, dear God, he makes me sick. Yep, he's talking about Tingle. It's only for humans, huh? Well, screw you then. No, sir. I don't have time for you. So after all this, I can't make this. I had no momentum at all. I thought maybe when I landed, I'd have momentum. But no. No, the world of Majora's Mask disagrees. So we do need to go to the forest. We gotta rescue her again. I don't think she's gonna give us a second bottle, because that would be cheating. But it sounds kind of cool, you have to be honest. Just keep doing the three-day cycle until you have like 57 bottles. Hmm. Hello. Goodbye. Alright, we have some Deku Nuts. We are not unarmed anymore. Oh, the plants are freaking out. Good job, plants. What about you guys? You guys freaking out? No, nope, you guys trust me because I'm a Deku. And I cut you all in half. And as is tradition... Monkey time, monkey time. It is monkey time when it's monkey time. So we gotta do this again. Here comes Aflac. Not this time, Death. He did hit me though. I did talk about how I wanted to do this differently this time, didn't I? And I lied to you. I lied to your face. What do you got, monkey? Huh? What do you got? What do you got? You got nothing. You have nothing and are nothing. Alright. So this time you'll notice we didn't pass her sister. In the forest. We don't currently have any red potion. We do have a bottle. So this is where I think maybe I got turned around last time. I think she'll actually be up here now. But I'm not sure. If I come up here and the shop's empty, you're gonna think I look awfully stupid. And you'll be right! A much more comfortably shaped moon than last time we were here though, I'll tell you what. You. Good music, by the way. <laughs> just like in the forest, she does not seem concerned about the Skull Kid's threat. Of course, she doesn't know about the whole Majora's Mask thing. But they were the last regular boss of Ocarina of Time. They don't have time for the stupid Skull Kid. He just sits in the forest and plays stupid minigames. The other thing I'm curious about here is last time we came around back and we looked, we couldn't see anything. But then again, when you look up, there's a ladder up there going to really nothing and nowhere. No, that's, that's not, that's, that's me trying to control the camera with the right stick, which I still haven't stopped doing. Okay. Also, I did not hit C up, but it's fine. wrong way so now we have the red potion again so we can heal her again we have to do it carefully so that we don't drink it ourselves. so getting that quarter of a heart back would be quite helpful yeah I, I know but this is not this isn't even the first time today that we've done this look at that juke didn't even buy it just sat there Aflac 
Yep. Nope. I have a buddy hood. Your opinion is irrelevant. Anthrax. Do, 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 do. Look at that guy. He just does not get it. And here we are. Lovely day. Hello? I will. Just hold on a minute. Uh, there. Look at this. Red smoke. She survived. Summon a broomstick. On your merry way. Goodbye. Oh no, went the one correct way. Oh god, forgot about the signs in front. Embarrassing. Monkey monkey. Can't avoid it. Monkey monkey. I can actually chase them this time in like the first three day cycle. You guys think you can get away? I'm a bunny. Bunnies are faster than monkeys. Haven't you read any stupid Aesop's fables? Come on. Come on, son. Now, we can finally progress again. I keep hearing that deco up there. It makes me upset. But it's okay. We don't have to play that game for a little while. We got a piece of heart on the roof. We couldn't go after another one until we get to the very next fourth of the game, I guess you could say. But this game is divided, if you don't know, into four main dungeons and then a final one, I guess. They make up for it by having a bunch of prep for each one. Well, thank you. Yes, yes. Now, we could be loading up the Picto box and taking a picture of the Octorok before he gets impaled this time. But uh, I don't care. So we're just going to enjoy the scenic tour instead. A lovely waterfall. A lovely frog. A lovely blue rupee. And this guy, looking sad already. <laughs> looking more sad now. I hate to think about what would happen in this case if the boat wasn't a really sharp point. You know, if it was just a blunt tip. Concussion? Or do we just bump into him and he eats us? I don't know. It's not clear. Well, here we are at the Deku Palace, and we're going to do a couple things real quick like. First, we don't need the bottle right now. And second... We talked about playing the song backwards, the mysterious song. Well, the inverted song of time. Time to get drunk. Whoa. This can't be good for you, by the way. Altering the flow of time. Luckily, it only stops time's flow. It'd be interesting and weird and probably game-breaking if it actually slowed down the world. But anyways. We return to the good music. This time, we have to get let in. For Deku. The guards are still very, very, very strong. They can't possibly stop us. Last time we went to the left, got a piece of heart. This time we're going to the right. Now it's going to be important for us to get caught a couple times just to show that the game's not easy. It's not nighttime yet, so we don't have the benefit of the little cones of vision, but it's okay. Well, it would be okay if I could get around this boulder, but I can't, ever, so... Now we have a bit of a concern here. 
Come on, sir. I need you to move. Sir. We're going to go over here and get this red rupee. Just because. We won't waste time on the other ones, though. Now we got to wait for the camera to catch up and get behind this, just in case you can see through that little structure there. Right now I'm using the, the Z button to jam out while I'm watching this guy over here. And we made it. And this is not where the magic bean salesman is. But over here... <laughs> first customer in a long time. Okay, you get this is the first one for free. To get us hooked, you know. Gotta give us a taste before you give us the juice. But while we're here... We're also gonna take advantage of that spring. Get us some water. So we can pour it out for our homies. Now, we could plant our free magic bean here. It uh, wouldn't be the wisest decision. But we could. We're going to pick up these rupees real quick, like. And we're going to get caught. Yep. Right in your face. Just because it's quicker to get out. Our stubby little legs don't move that fast. We're not interested in putting on the bunny mask just for that, so... This is why we wanted the water inside, of course. Out here it is poisonous. I am now mid-spin as we switch to this, so let's see if we can correct. We can. Good. Not very helpful. Time. This, as we saw on the last three-day cycle, is a spot that we're interested in, though. And even though I just hit C down, and it wasn't even that close to left at all, we have poured out our water. Now, if I were an angry man, I would be using profanities right now. But I'm not an angry man. I'm actually ecstatic about this. I really wanted to sneak past the guards again. I just really wanted to. All because, you know... Using the bootleg controller sometimes does these types of things. The moral of the story, kids, is play things on their intended system, or you'll be sad. Hell, we might even own Majora's Mask on the Wii that I own. I think I do. I still have my cartridge for sure. It's in the garage. So it's not like I'm playing the game illegally, but I'm not playing it on the right system. And as a result, I can't really complain about the controller. Guards on a weird cycle this time. Got me. So sure, let's do it again. So it's frustrating how it registers these directions. I guess I could try setting C up and C down to the left shoulder buttons or something. I don't know. I don't know. No matter what I do, it's hard to keep track of. Say what we're going to do. We're going to put this here so that we don't accidentally use them on something. Oh, look, it took off the mask this time. Wow. Amazing. And when I say amazing, I don't actually mean it. Because we don't have time for this. Literally. Camera, come on. Camera, I have needs. Don't turn. Thank you. I don't ask for much. Ha! Ah. Okay, that was a left. That's correct. Now we're going to do our best. You know, we're not even going to risk it. 
Happens once, it's a mistake. Happens twice, it's a pattern. We're gonna take it off. We have to be a Deku to get back over to where we need to use it. So I need to pull out the mask. Got it right the first time. We would have known it was wrong if we turned into a hideous fairy all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. This all feels very familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it just... Okay. Now that it's quote-unquote safe, we're going to set this... And on the opposite side, we're going to set this. So there's really no reason why these should interact. But, you know, maybe. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. I wasn't quite close enough. That, that's my... No, no, that's fine. You, know, you don't want to stand in, You don't want to stand on top of the thing. You just... Okay. All right. It took... We also happen to have this water. Bleh. Whoa! Wacky. This exists really just to get us there. I should have jumped off. I was going to show you and then jump off. I didn't have time. You may have noticed as we were sneaking through okay, that uh, there were some Deku flowers up in the sky. And that's where this is going to come in. However, in a weird twist, because of what I'm having to record this, we're going to cut this off here. Right here. I'm going to pause it so the time doesn't pass. And we'll come back tomorrow with more videos. Thank you for watching.